What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. Hello. Another beautiful morning. So, as a lot of you guys know, our chickens have been getting out. Oh, you can see our nice burn pile back there. <laughs> but our chickens, they get out, like, kind of regularly, and we don't really want them to get out, um, at least for now, until we move them down to the bottom, maybe next summer, spring. Hopefully. Yeah, but we just need to build, like, a simple little gate to get in and out. I think they're getting underneath the makeshift gate we got. Yeah, we'll show you guys up there. A yeah. little bit. Yeah, so we're down here at the bottom. We got some posts that we just had laying around one treated post we're gonna rip it in half with the sawmill and then we have we're gonna try to find some other boards and see if we can scrounge up like enough two by four material mm -hmm. or cut some two by fours really quick and make like a gate so yeah let's do it yeah let's do it all right getting that ready while Mike is getting the sawmill ready to cut that treated post in half, we've got another pile of wood over here and we need a couple two by fours. I think I found some right here. Perfect. Show you this. Look at this thing. I found it when we were taking the, oh my gosh. That's the crazy. wedding pictures. Yeah. I wanted to save it. I actually had it set up there. It's like an African beetle or something. I don't know. Like, it's, yeah, it like just died perfectly. Bros. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, seriously. Where are you going to put it? I don't know. I wanted to save it. Yeah. What? It's a June bug. June? Oh. <laughs> um. Ha! Ah, we gotta run up to the house. As a lot of you guys know, we like Craigslist <laughs> and Facebook Marketplace. And some guy said, man, you better hurry. You got a really good deal on a chop saw and a folding table. So let's go. Alright, I think it'll fit in this thing. We'll find out. Yeah, let me run up. We're rushing. Yeah. What? He said he had 40 people lined up. He supposedly has 40 people lined up, <laughs> but yeah. Um, 100 it? bucks for 12 inch chop saw, porta cable chop saw with a folding stand. So not not sliding, um, but 12 inch. So it's a bigger one. We'll be able to make it work. That's a pretty good deal right now, especially yeah. with a stand. So he's like, it actually worked out. He's like 10 minutes away. So let's go. All right, so we scored. The only thing it doesn't have is a guard. So you safety guys will just love that. But uh, yeah, 100 bucks. Chop saw, 12 inch, non-sliding, 12 inch saw with a stand. And the stand has some wheels on it. You can't really see the wheels down in there, but it rolls super easy. So we're stoked on that. It's just right up the road. So we're headed right back to La Casa. Cool. Cool. Newest addition to the crew. Yeah. You should still be able to roll it. Oh, yeah. Super easy move. Cool. Kitchen. All right. What are we doing now that we got a little distracted? Boards. Boards. Sawmill. We're making a gate for the chicken coop. Yep. Let's go back down there. growing plant it's amazing so they're like a beautiful weed the bumblebees okay. thriving in here I love it. look i see oh, three there are seeds down in there wow cool cool and like, that's cedar yeah created but we like our cedar. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, what side do you want me to hold? This side? Back to the bottom, we're gonna grab some leftover fencing and put the wire around the, the frame that we just built. Three feet. Three feet. And those hinges, they're in the Home Depot bags, and a Phillips bit. Make sure this thing fits. Oh, yeah, perfect. Link in the description below. What is that? What is that? Do you guys like it? <laughs> so let us know in the comments below. It's kind of exactly what we were picturing. Yeah. Um, it's like you're in jail. I guess it's like I'm in jail. You're in jail. You know? 
You're in chicken jail. Chicken jail. Yeah, kind of temporary. Um, we want to move the chickens down to the bottom at some point. Yeah, once we get the bottom a little bit more established. So these, I mean, they'll probably be up here until, you never know, next summer or so. Oh, at least next summer, yeah. Because yeah. next summer will be like the garden and yeah. we want the chickens close to the garden to be able to do their chicken thing in there for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We got one more little project that super easy. These chickens get on the roof of their coop and actually like just jump right out in the morning. Uh -huh. um, yeah, they get on the roof to roost. So we're just going to put up some of the leftover metal that we cut off of this fence yeah. up on the roof. Let's see if that works. Mm -hmm. cool. So you can barely see it. I'll zoom in here. But this metal is overhanging the edge. The chickens will jump up on this little roof right here. So we got some metal. And like I said, this is super temporary. We're going to move this entire coop down to the bottom eventually. But yeah, the chickens will hop up on this little roof and then they hop up on the top. And then same thing on this side over here, we have another piece of metal overhanging up on the top kind of because they jump on their laying box roof and get on that roof and then jump right over the fence. So hopefully this works. We'll see. They're all pretty happy. We got the rooster over there. Doing their chicken thing. Turned out perfect for what we needed it for, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, should be able to keep the chickens in a lot better than what we had going on. So. Yeah, they. I think they really, like, it was just the fence that was hooked on itself, and mm -hmm. they could just knock it right off. It was insanity. We would get them, uh, come and have to put them in every morning. Look, this yeah. one's mad at us. I don't know why, She's but fine. we appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Always good to keep you guys up to date on what's going on here on the homestead. Yep. Talking along. Yeah. Well, Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one, guys. See you next time.